Can you hear me? I'm Sam Hunt, and this is my wife, Lauren. We own and operate CNL Locker Company here in Moscow. Our primary business is custom slaughter. Um, we do have a small retail shop. We've cut the hours back to Fridays and Saturdays only, mainly because the walking through into a local meat market has kind of died off over the years. More and more people are more into raising their own animals and selling it to the local community. So my main job is I take your animal and we process it. So when you go to a restaurant and you eat that dish that George has made so elegantly, I've kind of done the work in between from a live animal to that plate. Um, like George, there is nothing on here that's gonna make sense. Yeah. These are just gonna be random photos of what we do. So um, the current photo is fresh side pork. Um, that's what you make bacon out of. Um, we do hundreds of animals a year. September is kind of our time where we start to get extremely busy. We do five fairs in three weeks. Um, with those five fairs, we do about 200 hogs. So I spend every day slaughtering hogs, skinning them. I have a couple of meat cutters and my lovely paperwork <laughs> wife. Um, we will do 200 hogs in a three to six week period. Um, it's an extensive process. We just expanded in 2017 to a building east of Moscow. That has been a blessing, being able to streamline what we do and get it done on a more timely fashion. Labor is always an issue. This is hard work. This is not something that is easy for anybody to pick up and learn. Um, I've done it since 1999 when I was a senior in high school. Um, you just figure it out and it becomes easy just like anything else you do in life. Um, I'm not a real big speaker. <laughs> um, there's a lot of things that I can't do as a custom processor. We are not USDA inspected, which means you can't bring, George can't buy his animals from the farm, bring them to me and have me slaughter them. They have to be done under USDA inspection, so we work closely with WSU and U of I to get that stamp of inspection. They will slaughter the animal. I can go pick up the carcasses and cut them to your specs so you can resell them. That's what we do with George on his pork. Right now he's currently doing 50 to 60 hogs a year and we, we, he tells us what he wants done for his dishes and we just do it for him and store them in our freezer and his head chefs will come up and grab what they need for the week. Um, other than that, I do have a too. Yeah, we also, Lauren and I both raise our own cattle. We're at 75 head of cows and growing. Um, that's always been kind of a passion of mine when, since I was little. When I graduated high school, I wanted to be a large scale producer. I like the pasture to plate scenario. I've learned how to artificial inseminate. We do embryo work. I raise cows. I even dabbled in the sheep business. Some people in this crowd might know about that, but at one point I custom grazed 6,000 lambs and lambed out 1,200 ewes. I've kind of been around, <laughs> so I can deal with livestock. Um, I always fall back to cattle and being able to slaughter them. Being able to do the pasture to plate, I can pick certain genetics. We know how to grade. There's a picture of fair season. That's a rail of a whole bunch of pigs we just did. You can pick certain genetics, and when it comes down to it, I don't know if a slide has popped up with a cross section of grading, when you go to buy your steaks, there's certain grades of steaks, for cattle at least. There's going to be prime, which is your highest. There's choice, select, and then everything below that kind of doesn't matter anymore. I think they just, they don't even care. And there's even been talk that the select grade is going to fall out. Um, I can do that. So I will cross rib everything. I will look at my own cattle and kind of see what I need to change for the coming years. So there's a pork chop. <laughs> Got anything you want to say? You're doing great. I'm doing great. How many more minutes do we have? <laughs> I'm like Don. I don't like speaking longer than five minutes. <laughs> There's that. Huh? I can make it up. I can. We can do whatever you want here. Oh, here we are. So this is. A, I'll talk about this picture here. <laughs> This picture, we tried to take this picture probably eight times. We balanced our phone, Lauren's phone, on a shelf to try to get the timer and everything just right. The steaks you see there are choice New York grade steaks. I'm part of the board for the Western States Red Angus Association. That's the breed of cattle that I raise. 
we were sponsored to cut the stakes for our annual benefit auction and sale and everything down in Reno. That was 200 steaks that we had just cut and packaged and we hauled them to Reno to cook them. Um, took us probably a half an hour to get that one picture that was perfect <laughs> and to make her happy. <laughs> so other than that, that's what we do. Um, if you have any animals that you're raising, I'm that middle person that gets it done and sends it down the road. Um, I do like working with various customers in the area. I do like going out and looking at your livestock. If you have any ideas, I have an animal science background. So I usually will consult on how to feed animals, how to get them, guess the weights, and kind of tell you where you're at in the process and when they're going to be ready. So but you don't slaughter on farm. I do slaughter on farm, yeah. yeah.